it, and they win in Baltimore for the second time in 2020. Knocked him out in January in the divisional playoffs. You had me for a second. I was like, wait. This team is trash. This team is trash. Congratulations, Baltimore. You were at the top. You were at the top. Coming into the season, you fallen right back to the basement where you've always been. Congratulations, Baltimore. We're back to the basement. And you can give me this. Oh, you're only six and four. You shouldn't be complaining. My team is gone. Here's the thing. When a team is garbage, you can look at the players and say, man, this is not a good team. You can give that as an excuse. What's Baltimore's excuse? You can bring up the injuries. You can bring up the injuries. But didn't we have depth to start in the season? Weren't we so confident in the amount of depth we had both offensively and defensively? Well, at least defensively, we were. Where is that? Look at this. Look at this. Derek Wolf on the on the field, on his knees in absolute disbelief. That is the 2020 Baltimore Ravens. Oh, man. People need to be fired. It's time. Fire these dudes. Greg Roman, goodbye. I don't care how you play call today. Goodbye. Leave. Leave. It's over. It's gone. You're done. Greg Roman, it's over. Bye. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You need to leave. So many of these players should be absolutely embarrassed about themselves. This was just disgusting. Nobody. Nobody really stood out today for me. Nobody. Except JK. JK showed up to do his job. I mean, Mark Andrews, you give him credit. He showed up and did his job for the most part. I'm not even surprised. This ain't even going to be a playoff team at the end of the day. I know the schedule, but if we we saw them in New England, they couldn't win that game. How can you trust this team to win games? We're back at the basement, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at the basement. This was a team everyone praised to be a Super Bowl contender at the start of the year. And now the Ravens are right back to being at the basement where they've always been as a franchise. The two Super Bowl victories we had, we were not one of the top teams. We came out of nowhere and pulled off the underdog story. We're back to being that again. We're back to being the Ravens before MVP Lamar Jackson. This is where we are now. Injuries are piling up. It's like 2015 all over again. You got players that can't step up, players that can't make plays, defense that just collapsed at the end. This is 2017 all over again. And this loss to the Titans is worse than the playoff loss. Because, oh my God, I'm just, I'm, I'm walking around in frustration. Because if I don't walk around right now, I might have to just, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not going to break my stuff. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm not going to break my stuff. I've never been the type of person to break my stuff. But like, I just don't want to be near anything right now. Because if I feel like I sit down right now, I'm going to just start raging. Like, I'm raging. I'm going to start raging. Like, beyond belief. I'm so disgusted with this team. This Ravens team is an abomination right now. Lamar Jackson himself, you don't get a pass in this game, my friend. You were awful in this game. You made two great plays. Both of them were to Andrew. The deep ball to Andrew on, what was it, 3rd and 13? And then the touchdown pass to him. Other than that, you didn't do anything special, my friend. You running around here and there, picking up a couple extra yards. We expect that from you, my friend. You picking a up a first down with your legs, that's not a surprise. We expect that from you. Passing-wise, didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. Besides those two plays, there was nothing there for me to give you credit for. You looked like 2017 Joe Flacco. What am I supposed to do about that? And again, it ain't even all Lamar's fault. I'm bashing him for his play, but it ain't all his fault. Receiving core, disappointment once again. Hollywood Brown, you talked all this smack about, how come you can't, you got all these soldiers, but you ain't even using them. Only to drop a pass. You're not doing anything, man. You're not doing anything. The fan base has lost faith in you faster than they lost faith in Miles Boykin. That speaks volume, my friend. You're not even, you're not even a threat on offense anymore. I don't even think people care. At this point, you can be wide open down the field. Nobody cares. Lamar's not throwing to you, my friend. Nobody cares. Boykin's completely ghosted out of this offense. The only thing that looked nice today was Mark Andrews, which we expect, and freaking Des Bryant, who didn't have a spectacular game. But the fact that he made some good plays himself, 
was nice. Like that third, the, I think he had three catches in the game. The third catch he had when we were trying to score a touchdown to end the game, it was nice. It was nice. He made that play and stayed in bounds. Des Bryant looked nice. Other than that, receiving core once again, overall just a disappointment. What else is new? Run game, spectacular by J.K. J.K. was one of the few players today that actually showed up and did what he needed to do. He's not the reason we lost. We probably would have had a better chance if we would just give him the ball more. Hell, I mean, if we would have just made him the number one guy from the get-go instead of giving Ingram carries early in the first half, maybe we would have been better prepared and more, I don't know, I don't know, just J.K. was fine. J.K. was fine. Maybe you give a little extra carries to Gus, but they went with J.K. I'm fine. If J.K. is the guy to go moving forward, I am cool with it. Whoo, man, I'm cool with it. Other than that, disappointment, offensive line, can't protect. Funny enough, Lamar Jackson had his first sack, I believe, of the day in overtime. A lot of it has to do with the fact that even though they couldn't protect him, Lamar was just running. He was either throwing the ball away, getting it to somebody who would drop the pass or just run out of bounds or something. He really didn't get sacked because he was not staying in the pocket today. And when he did get protection, he threw a pick. What can you do with that? The whole offense is an abomination. The whole offense is an abomination. You should be absolutely disgusted with yourself. I want to hold. You don't understand how much I want to look at the defense and hold them for their play. But what can I say? They are filled with injuries. The two players, the, the, the Calais Campbell was brought here to help try and contain Derrick Henry. He was brought here for that. He didn't play. Brandon Williams, our best. You miss Brandon Williams and you miss Calais Campbell. And yet, for the most part, they were able to contain Derrick Henry for a good chunk of the game. They did the very best they can. We thought they were going to get absolutely crushed, but they did the very best they can. I cannot blame anything on the defense except for giving up big plays. Marcus Peters! But um, other than that, nah. Humphrey, one of the rare games he played like trash. It happens. You're a top corner. Sometimes you're not going to have good games. It's one of the few things that happens. This is sad. The Ravens have fallen from grace. The Ravens have fallen from grace. They've fallen from re re relevancy. They're just back to being mediocre. To somewhat average. Welcome back, guys. Now we're really feeling comfortable. Man, let me just sit down real quick. Hold on. We really feel uncomfortable. We've always been in this area for the Ravens. Being at the top, being one of those teams that are a legit threat for a Super Bowl, we've never really been that. Overall, as a spec franchise, we've been used to sitting down at the bottom and having to claw our way up to barely make the playoffs and hope for a magical run. That's what the Ravens have been. What else is new? This week, the media is going to blast Lamar Jackson. You can't even, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. He himself needs to improve. So, oh my God, he was not great in this game. This is why everybody, this coaching staff needs to be fired. Please fire them. I'm sorry. You've got a talent in Lamar Jackson. He's not the best thrower of the football. In fact, he's very average at throwing the football. He needs to improve. No question. But the coaches that are here are clearly not doing a good enough job. It's year three, and this guy's still struggling to throw the football like this? Plays that you're supposed to have as a quarterback. Throws that you're supposed to make when the dude's open. He missed some of those today. He had Andrews open early on for a touchdown. He overthought it, floated it instead of putting the ball on him. Missed that touchdown. Andrews was open again late in the game. He, he overthrew him there. This team, this is a shame. This is an absolute shame. This is a complete disappointment. I can't wait to talk about this this week because I might have to talk about it after this game. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm probably going to go live and we're going to talk about this because this is an absolute disgrace. It's an embarrassment. It's a joke. The Ravens are back to being bottom feeders. You're back to being in the basement. Congratulations, Ravens. I hope you're happy. Oh, my God. Everybody needs to be fired. Oh, not everybody. I'm, you know I'm joking about everyone being fired. But Greg Roman, it's his time to go. No question. Greg Roman's got to go. This this receiving court, this the receiving coach, he got to go. And I'm two steps away from saying James Urban, the quarterback coach, he got to go. Because what development has he done with Lamar Jackson? 
Please explain that to me. What has he done with Lamar? This is absolutely embarrassing. I don't care. It's six and four. You can say whatever you want, this and that. Oh, you six and four. It could be better. You in the AFC, where there are nine teams with six or more wins. You are not leading in your division. You need to win. I don't care what's on the other side of the schedule. You can't be looking ahead because if you continue to lose, what if the other teams don't continue to win? Huh? What if the other teams continue to win and you lose? Tennessee's also fighting for a playoff spot. This was a crucial game that could determine whether or not we're going to make the playoffs. We've lost it now. This is what the Ravens are. I'm not even surprised anymore. I'm not even surprised. We're back to being right where we were before Lamar Jackson took off as an MVP. Ah, oh, man. It's, it's good to be back, huh? It's good to be back. We had one great year to have hopes of being one of the best teams in the league with one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And we're right back down to where 2017 was. A team that kind of looks like it, it's a playoff team. I mean, it may make a playoff team. It may make a, you know, you might make the playoffs. Maybe you'll win a game if you're lucky, but they're not a real threat. That's what the Ravens are right now. I'm so done, man. Let me get started with this live stream. <sighs> yeah. Ravens fall to six and four. I don't care about talking about the game. This is an embarrassment. That's it. That's it. People need to be fired. I'm so done, man. I'm so tired. Thanks for watching, guys. I, I'm out of here, man. Just, just peace.